Well, a big crowd is expected at Boise State tomorrow for a demonstration entitled Women Belong Everywhere. A group of local women quickly organized a show of support after the comments from Dr. Yenner went viral, which you will hear those in a few moments. But the women I spoke with who organized the event tell me that it's important for them to speak up and speak out against messages that they feel are demeaning women and their value. They tell me that this isn't about reacting to a run of the mill put down against an entire gender. They say this is about making a statement on a commentary that is damaging to women, especially young women trying to find their place in the world on their terms. In response to comments made by a Boise State professor about the role of women in society, they are more medicated, meddlesome, and quarrelsome than women need to be. Idaho women say they are coming together to prove a point. All women belong in their chosen careers. In the year 2021, it's really troubling that I have to defend myself as a human being, right? Like, I have to remind people that women actually have access and the same rights as anyone else. So it is. It's kind of, it is more than troubling for sure. And I thought the conversation was interesting. Melissa Wintrow is an Idaho state senator who has also taught gender studies at Boise State since the early 2000s. She says there is of course value in provocative conversations, but that recent words from Dr. Scott Yenner are not that. Every effort must be, must be made not to recruit women into engineering, but rather to recruit and demand more of men who become engineers. Ditto for med school and the law and every trade. You know, he goes beyond just having a provocative conversation about gender roles. He says you don't belong and that you belong somewhere else, right? So he says you, you, we should be discouraging women from getting their education and being in the workforce. He doesn't just talk about it in some, you know, uh, generic sense. He's actually saying we shouldn't do it. We have an obligation to ensure that women are present and, and that's what this is all about. Brooke Green is an Idaho lawmaker and a Boise State graduate now working in STEM. As a lawmaker, she hears a lot of things that draw her attention, but Green says she felt compelled to speak out when she heard Yenner's comments. I'm a transportation planner. I plan and help my female engineers build our roads. And so when he makes the statement that we are not to be promoting women into these roles, it is personal because I too sit at that table with all my women colleagues, all my male colleagues, and we work together. And so that is how it became so personal. And I remember staying late up at night and I was like, what can we do to create a presence in our community and to elevate women of all of these professions and, and give them an opportunity to be presence. So Green went back to Yenner's words to help create what she hopes is a meaningful statement. I listened to his whole 20 minute speech and it was a comment at the very end um, where he states, men should be public and women should be private. The effort to erase the old standard of public men and private women has been a mistake. I would challenge him in that, you know, there's less to lose and more to gain. You know, when we have diversity at the table, when everybody belongs, where everybody has access to be who they are, we're gonna have a much better world. And so I would ask him to put down his weapons and to take his blinders off as and really see the world for what it is and allow people to be who they want. So Wintro, Green, and many others are making a statement Saturday at Boise State. There is nothing more public than the event we're doing on Saturday where we can promote women to be present. And that, that is the whole, uh, you know, that is really the catalyst behind it. So it's those last few words, because there's nothing about putting us, you know, quietly on the back burner in our professions and in our lives as that state was. If every Nobel Prize winner is a man, that's not a failure. It's kind of a cause for celebration. I would say, you know, to women that hear those words, young women, you know better. You are valuable human beings and you should not be, uh, you know, confined to any man's perspective of who you are. Um, pursue your happiness, uh, follow your dreams, you know, uh, connect with your gut feelings uh, and, and seek out women mentors and, and do not internalize that kind of garbage. I reached out to Dr. Yenner this week for comment or to have a conversation about this topic. He did not respond to my email. The event tomorrow at Boise State is scheduled for 1130 in the morning.